played him in right field. They moved him to center field. A different ball player. Strike three. Sorry. Struck him out. So Mike Cox working very slowly. Come backer. Wilcox goes to second. Trammell's throw to first. In time. Moved the last couple of innings. Fastball well hit to right. Trouble. This is trouble. And it's gone. Base hit. And the tying run is aboard with nobody out in the ninth. Curveball and he got him. Great pitch. That the Flanagan gives up his first walk of the game. Sparky Epkin and Jimmy Williams positioning the Brooklyn's the batter with two outs. Ground ball to Ripken. He goes to second. That's the ball game. Now Flanagan is able to get Tom Brookins to ground into a force play to end the inning. The Orioles have won it two to one. A complete game victory for Mike Flanagan who improves his record to four and four. No, it's not October and this is not the World Series, but when you haven't had a winner for a long time, this is how you react when your team's on top and the World Series champions come to town. Bring on the Orioles is the attitude at Tiger Stadium. Pre-game ceremonies resemble a September or October event. Parades, clowns, colored guard, Detroit is fired up. The players have caught on as well. It's always fun to sit down in front of the TV and uh, see all the things all the guys are digging up about the, the whole ball of wax here. But uh, I know everybody in our ball club is enjoying it. It's a lot of fun. It's, uh, it's really what baseball is all about. And, uh, you know, this is we've been fortunate to play as well as we have to be able to enjoy something like this. So I, I'm just sure everybody's having a good time with it. But let us not forget, this is only early June and not October. It's almost amusing to the Orioles. They respect the Tigers, but advise the fans, media, and players not to jump the gun. We're used to this later in the year when the players have to wear at least long sleeves when they play. Uh, uh, I thought the playoffs really started in September, late September, early October. Uh, although this series is kind of crucial to us, I think that you know, teams have come back from further distances in a shorter amount of time, and there's a long way to go in this season yet. Tiger fans have been a long time between winners, so you can't blame them for getting overly excited in June. But it's a long time until September. And by then, maybe the wave will be on the rocks. In Detroit, I'm John Saunders, News Scene 2.